During a conversation with journalists in Kazan, President Vladimir Putin finally commented on the rumors about the presence of North Korean soldiers in Russia. This happened after an American journalist asked the Russian president to comment on satellite images that showed the presence of soldiers from North Korea on Russian territory. Moreover, this American journalist called the arrival of soldiers from North Korea in Russia a real escalation of the Ukrainian conflict, which could lead to the outbreak of a global war. In response, Vladimir Putin said that the real escalation began after the United States organized a coup in Ukraine in 2014, bringing Western puppets to power. As for the presence of North Korean soldiers on Russian territory, Vladimir Putin noted that on September 24, 2024, the Russian state Duma finally ratified the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Agreement with North Korea. According to this agreement, Russia and North Korea commit to help each other in the event of an attack on one of the two countries. At the same time, it is worth noting that the attacked country will receive military assistance with all available means. Answering a question from an American journalist from NBC, Vladimir Putin pointed out that not only foreign mercenaries from dozens of countries of the world are fighting on the side of Ukraine, but also active duty soldiers and officers of armies of NATO countries. We know perfectly well how maritime drone launches occur in the Black Sea. We know perfectly well that the officers from the armies of NATO countries operate these drones. The same applies to high-precision weapons such as Atakms ballistic missiles and Storm Shadow cruise missiles. We know perfectly well that NATO officers operate these sophisticated armaments in Ukraine, Vladimir Putin said. Thus, Vladimir Putin has not officially denied or confirmed the presence of North Korean soldiers on Russian territory. Against this backdrop, the head of the Kiev regime, Vladimir Zelensky, became hysterical and wept. In particular, this comedian accused Western countries of inaction. According to him, on October 28, 2024, North Korean militants will allegedly appear at the front and start killing Ukrainian soldiers, while the West, led by the United States, continues to turn a blind eye to this. Commenting on the possible appearance of North Korean soldiers in a special military operation zone, many experts expressed confidence that this is a symmetrical response from Russia to the actions of the West. The fact is that as of October 26, 2024, mercenaries from 85 countries of the world are fighting on the side of Ukraine. This was made possible largely due to the efforts of the West and the financial capabilities of the United States. In addition, active duty soldiers and officers from almost all armies of NATO countries are also fighting on the side of Ukraine. Thus, the involvement of North Korean soldiers in the current conflict can be considered Moscow's mirror response to the aggressive actions of the West, led by the United States. Meanwhile, it is worth noting that rumors about the appearance of 3,000 North Korean soldiers on Russian territory appeared exactly when the Russian army began to win convincing victories in all directions of the front, rapidly approaching the end of a special military operation. At the same time, it is reported that in the coming weeks, the number of North Korean soldiers in Russia may increase to 12,000 people. All this indicates that North Korean soldiers were sent to Russia not to help or strengthen the Russian army, but to gain valuable experience in waging war against NATO forces. It was this factor that greatly frightened the leadership of NATO and the Pentagon. According to unconfirmed reports, Russian sabotage and reconnaissance groups and Spetsnaz units have already begun to train North Korean soldiers in effective ways to destroy American and NATO military equipment. In addition, soldiers from North Korea also gain invaluable experience in destroying enemy manpower, consisting of NATO soldiers and officers. Given the high motivation of the North Korean soldiers and their desire to take revenge on the West for dividing their country, they can indeed prove to be a formidable force, especially after the Russian army gives them invaluable fighting experience.
At the same time, I am absolutely sure that if necessary, the Russian general staff can use North Korean soldiers to protect the borders of new regions of Russia, such as Kherson, Zaporizhia, and Donbass. This will reduce the burden on the Russian army, which is forced to use a large number of troops to protect these regions. As a result, this will allow Moscow to involve the remaining Russian troops in conducting a military operation to liberate the Odessa, Nikolaev, Kharkiv, Sumy, Chernihiv, and Kiev regions. In addition, if necessary, Russia can also use North Korean combat crews of multiple launch rocket systems with KN-25 short-range ballistic missiles. These ballistic missiles, 8 meters long and weighing 3 tons, are capable of hitting specific targets with great precision from a distance of hundreds of kilometers. Undoubtedly, this will force the Ukrainian army and NATO forces to stop shelling Donetsk and Belgorod with the help of HIMARS and Vampire multiple launch rocket systems. Against this backdrop, South Korean President Yoon suk Yeol held an emergency meeting where he officially declared a serious threat to the security of the country. South Korea is concerned about the fact that the presence of North Korean soldiers in the Special Military Operation Zone in close cooperation between Moscow and Pyongyang can significantly strengthen the combat potential of the North Korean army. Official Seoul has already called on Moscow to withdraw North Korean soldiers from Russian territory. In response, the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that the allied relations between Moscow and Pyongyang are not directed against Seoul. However, such a response did not satisfy the South Korean authorities. In Seoul, they are confident that the arrival of North Korean soldiers in the Special Military Operations Zone is connected with the preparation of the North Korean Army for a future war on the Korean Peninsula in order to proceed to a forceful scenario of uniting the country. Many experts in Seoul claim that Russia is strengthening the North Korean army, giving it invaluable fighting experience and military technology in order to open a second front against the West. Well, I guess that's why Washington was so scared of the systemic military cooperation between Russia and North Korea. Against this backdrop, indeed, it seems that Vladimir Putin has prepared an unpleasant surprise for the United States, as a result of which Moscow will take revenge on Washington for the coup in Kiev in 2014, as a result of which Russia had to launch a special military operation that put an end to Ukrainian statehood.